Hi, my name is Reepa Patel and I am the Chief Cardiology Fellow at Augusta University at the Medical College of Georgia, located in Augusta, Georgia. I will be starting my Interventional Cardiology Fellowship this upcoming July, and it's a pleasure today to share with you my experience with the SISN Guidewire Training Program for Cardiology Fellows. As far as my prior Guidewire training before the program, I really didn't have any formal training in Guidewire engineering or the benefits of wires. I didn't know how the core coding or tip could affect wire performance. And all of my Guidewire knowledge that I had gained was from hands-on experience in the cath lab. Before participating in the Ascent Guidewire training program, I wasn't too comfortable in selecting a purpose of built wire and cath cases. I knew some of the basic details of the wires that we use frequently in our lab, but I still had a lot to learn about them. In selecting the optimal wire for case, it's very important to know the components and the properties of each wire and how these uh, components affect the wire performance. And so this is one of the main reasons I was really excited to participate in the program. I decided to join the new training program from ASAI, which is called ASAI Ascent. They offer different programs about guide wires and microcatheters that incorporate hands-on tools for interventional cardiologists, interventional cardiology fellows, and cath lab staff. The first program we hosted at Augusta University was the guide wire training. It covered wire purpose built design and performance, and everything from core thickness, coding types, and tip load measurement was covered. I've been lucky to have a lot of hands-on experience in the cath lab during my fellowship over the past two and a half years. Um, and I've gotten to be fam very familiar with the guide wires that we use frequently, but there's over 300 different models of guide wires. And so I really wanted to learn more about the guide wires that I wasn't familiar with. And so this is one, uh, one of the things that we were really excited to work with the SAI for the SAI, uh, Ascent Guide Wire Training Program. I learned so much from the guide wire training program and it really was an invaluable experience. We discuss in depth about the different components that make up a guide wire and how these components contribute to the performance of, wire. We, performance of a wire. We talked about tip load, coatings, core, and coil. Um, and now I understand the components of a guide wire to determine if the wire performance is adequate to tackle a lesion. We also learned about the concept of tip load and how that is a crucial property in choosing the optimal guide wire. We talked about how to choose the optimal wire for different clinical situations, and we were really able to talk through a lot of different uh, scenarios. The training program also had simulators and models for us to practice on, and that was one of the best aspects of the training program, as we were able to physically feel these different wires and see for ourselves how they performed and compared against each other. One of the simulators was called ASAI ETOS, which stands for Educational Total Occlusion Simulation System. It's a demo with an artificial lesion. We were able to introduce different wires and try to navigate through the lesion. You can learn how each guide wire acts differently in CTO lesions. For example, highly lubricous wires can slip into microchannels easily. High tip load wires have higher penetration force, and some wires are easier to shape and navigate bends than others. And this is one of the key concepts I learned through the training program is that you, in order to have success in the cath lab, you really need to understand the task of the wire and the wire properties. And the program really hammered down on these details and we really understood how to assess the wire tasks and the wire properties. And so we have a better chance of having success in the cath lab. The Ascent training program, it greatly improved my knowledge on guide wires. You know, like I mentioned before, there's 300 guide wires available on the market, and it's very important to understand how different wire designs can affect wire performance. Um, and it's definitely made me for, feel more comfortable when I work with wires in the cath lab now. Preparation and knowledge equipment are the keys to success in the cath lab. The training program really helped us teach that, um, teach us the different properties of wires and how these properties affect the performance of a wire. As someone who is about to finish the General Cardiology Fellowship and start their Interventional Cardiology Fellowship, I'm very thankful that I had the opportunity to present, present, participate in the Ascent Training Program and, feel, and I now feel more prepared to start my interventional training. In the Ascent the, the, the Training Program was a wonderful experience and I learned so much from it. I highly recommend the training program to both general cardiology fellows and interventional cardiology fellows. We're very excited to participate in the next educational training series, which is microcatheters. Thank you for taking the time to listen to, to my experience and thank you to Sai for this wonderful opportunity to share my experience and feedback.